now what we want to do is let's create um, a backbone view. We're going to create two views. One view is going to be for um, each individual blog that we create. And the other view is going to be for um, every single view put together into a nice list. So um, let's create both of these right now. So let's do uh, var blog view equals new uh, equals backbone dot view dot extend. And we're going to fill this in a little bit later, but let's just create our two views first. So var blogs view equals backbone dot view dot extend. And let's actually comment this a little bit better. So backbone view for one blog. And this is going to be backbone view for all blogs. So first, the place that we want to put our blog view and blog views is going to be in um, the T body. So let's make a new T body. Um, and we're going to give this T body a class of, we're just going to call it blogs list because that's going to be what's going to be in here. And we're not going to fill it in. We're actually going to inject um, TRs into this T body using our scripts file here. So now what we want to do is we want to actually create these views. So we're going to do a lot here before we refresh our browser. So let's try to follow along and type this in. So for our individual block view, what we're going to type in is we're going to do, uh, the model is going to be a new blog. So when we uh, create a new blog, um, this view is going to use that. And the tag name for this is going to be TR, because we're going to inject this into our T body. So each new blog is going to have a individual row or table row. And on initialize, this is what's going to, it's going to do at the very start. So our initialize function is going to be to, uh, we're going to use a template for this. It's going to basically um, put information into a template. And so first, before we do anything else, let's create this template. Um, and so what we're going to be using is we're going to be using a underscore template. And so let's type in uh, template here. And the template that we're going to use is we need to do we need to make this right now. So let's go back to our index.html file. And at the bottom, uh, let's just type in uh, script type equals text slash template. Let's give it a class of let's name this template blogs list template. And then let's go back to our scripts.js page. And we're going to put that in here. So the template is going to be the blogs list template. And what we want to do is we want to um, access the HTML of this template. So we're going to use that. So that's going to be our template. And then now let's actually make our template. So here's what our template is going to look like for um, our table. And let's just make it, um, we're going to have TD. And I'm going to give this a span class author. That way we can access this data, data later on. Um, and it's just going to be, and this is going to be the code that we use. Let's maximize this so we can see this better. Um, so the code that we use to inject data into this template is going to be um, this sign and then percent equals author equals that or percent that. And we're going to close the span. Uh, the script thing is going to get really annoying. I don't really know why it does that. Uh, so just bear with that. Um, I'm going to do this basically three times, one for each of the pieces of data that we have. So one, two, three, and well, the fourth one, we're going to actually make it into a button. So um, 
fourth one, let's put in, uh, we're not going to do anything with this yet, but, um, and I'm going to put in some bootstrap formatting here. So BTN, we're going to put in an edit and a uh, delete button in here. So edit blog and that's really annoying. And then let's put in another button. I'm just going to copy paste this. Um, and this one's going to be our delete button. So let's change this to um, danger. And let's change this to uh, delete blog. Let's change this to delete. And let's change uh, this to title and these two to URL. So this is going to be our template for our individual blogs. And so now we're going to do render function. So when we render our blogs, what we're going to do is, uh, there's going to be kind of a lot of code here, so just follow along. Render this.el. Uh, so that's going to actually be um, this tr here. So inside of this tr, we're going to insert some HTML here. So HTML. And in the HTML, we're going to put this template. And inside this template, we're going to uh, use the model. Um, this dot model. And we're going to do two JSON there. And so that's going to put in um, this data into this template, which is, uh, so the data is going to go into this uh, template right here. So the author title URL is going to be um, inserted from this new model to JSON there. And so that is our individual blog view. And I tested it and it didn't work because we don't need this model up here. So let's delete that. Oh, and we don't need um, these brackets around here. So let's delete those. And let's put a semicolon at the end here. Okay, so now for our blogs view, which is going to hold all of our blogs together at once, we're going to give it the model blogs, which is our uh, collection up here that we created. And the EL for this is going to be um, blogs list, which is the uh, blogs list T body class that we made here. And so we're going to um, put in a new TR into that T body every time we for each of the items in our blogs collection. And on initialize, so every time I'm going to create a function for the initialize, so this is going to be what um, it does is the at the very start. And so um, we're going to do this dot model, so dot on add. So every time a blog is added to the uh, collection blogs, we are going to do, we're going to render this view and we're going to give it the context this. And so that's that for now. And then we're going to create our render function. And so the first thing we do when we render, we want to uh, clear the EL. So we're going to do this.el, which is going to refer to this blog list here. We want to empty it first so that we don't um, add too much every single time. And then next, we're going to do something for each of the different blogs in our blog blogs collection. So uh, underscore each is a method that will iterate through each of the uh, blogs in our blogs collection. So we're going to pass in the blogs array. And let's pass in uh, this dot model. This dot model is going to refer to the blogs here. And we're going to type in to array because uh, that's going to put into a format that we can use. And we're going to do function so for each individual blog. Now we technically want to do this dot el, but this won't work inside the each method because the each is going to change it. So we're going to do a little hack here. It's called uh, var self equals this. That way we can pass in this using the variable self. It's going to store this in the variable self. And what we're going to do is we're going to append. So for each item in our blogs array, or blogs collection, we're going to append a new table row up here. Um, and so what we're going to append is going to be a new blog view. And we're going to give it the model blog. So the model is going to be um, 
this item that we're passing into this method. So the blog is going to be the model here. And we want to render this view. So we're going to put parentheses around here. And so we're going to do dot render. So that's going to do the render function up here. And then we're going to um, render it for that element right there. And so that is our code for our blogs view. And let me just close these semicolons here. And now, since we're listening for a new blog to be added to our model, let's create an input box where we can do that. Um, so underneath our, in our T head, so we don't want to mess with that T body because that's going to be emptied every time something's added. Let's make a new table row. And we're going to have two TDs this time because we don't want it to be bolded. And we're going to have input boxes here. So let's make an input class equals, let's do form control. And this, let's make this author input. And let's do the same thing um, for the other three here, for the next two. So this is going to be um, title input. And this is going to be URL input. And then let's have a submit button here. So let's make button class equals, let's make this um, BTM primary. And it'll be, um, we'll give it the class add blog. And we'll just make it add there. And let's save it, go back to our browser, refresh it. Um, and so now we'll see we have an input box here where we can put in um, author title and URL and we can click on add, it won't do anything yet. Now let's uh, create the code for actually adding in a blog. So let's go to our scripts.js page. At the bottom, let's create a um, document ready code here so that when our document is finished loading, it's going to run this code here. And so let's type in uh, for the element um, add blog, so when that button is click is clicked um, on click we're going to run the function and it's going to be we're going to do var blog so we're going to create a new blog here and it's going to be a new blog model and here's the data that we're going to pass in the author is going to be the uh, author input we're going to pass in the value of that input. Title is going to be um, title input dot val and the URL is going to be the URL input dot val and what we're going to do next is let's just console log it first just to make sure that it is working and so um, when we do that, it should show up in the console. Let's just refresh this, test it out really quickly. Uh, Michael, Michael's blog, HTTP Michael.com, doesn't really matter. We'll add it and you'll see that it showed up down there and you'll see that it is the child thing. So um, we could do that to Jason. That might make it more understandable. Um, so let's just, if I just type in JJKKLL, and you'll see that it's in a more readable format now. So now we'll leave that there just so we can have a record of that. Now, every time we create a blog, we're going to um, take our blogs collection and we're going to add blog. So now every time we add it, it should um, trigger this initialize function here and then render the page. So let's save this. Um, before we do that, we need to uh, in instantiate our blogs view view so let's do var blogs view equals new blogs view instantiate that and let's save it go to our browser and there were actually some more errors so let's uh, fix those first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this this dot render we don't need these parentheses here and also at the end of our render functions um, we want to return this and so we actually need that there we don't technically need it down here but let's do the same thing down here we're going to return this and so 
Um, now let's go back to our browser. We're going to refresh it. Um, and now let's type in a new blog. I'm just going to type in Tim, and it'll be Tim's blog. URL will be HTTP timsblog.com. I'm going to add it, and you'll see that um, we have a nice table of our blogs here. And with the edit and delete buttons, these don't do anything yet. Um, but since Michael and John aren't actually um, weren't actually entered, we can we have our add function now. So let's actually take those out of um, let's change new blogs or blogs to equal uh, new blogs. Let's take out blogs one and two. We don't need those anymore. I'm just going to comment that out here. And so let's try that one more time. And so then we will only have uh, the ones that we add. So let's type in, well, let's try some girls, Sarah's blog, and then HTTP slash slash Sarah's blog.com add. And you'll see that there is only one blog added now. So now what we want to do is we want to um, use, well, let's clear these um, input forms when we enter that. So let's go back to our index.html or scripts.html, scripts.js. And then after we add the blog, we're going to clear the forms. Um, so we're going to do author-input.val. We're going to make that empty after we finish. And we're going to do the same thing with um, the other two. So one, two. Let's change this to title input. Let's change this to URL input. Let's just test that one more time. Let's just do it really quickly. So JJKKLL. We're going to click on Add. And you'll see that the input forms have now cleared after we um, input them. All right, so we're going to stop here for this video. In the next video, we're going to go through how to edit, update, and delete blogs from our collection using set and destroy. So make sure you check out that video also. I'll see you later for now. All right, bye.